Green Pastures and Mount Olympus. Heaven Letter Number 5555. February 9, 2016. Come with me to the green pastures, and we shall lie on our backs and look up at the blue sky. Perhaps we chew on a blade of grass. We nod, and we say, this is good. We sink to the center of the earth at the same time as we are at the peak of Mount Olympus. You may ask, what is the significance of Mount Olympus? In Greek mythology, Mount Olympus was the meeting place of the gods. Figuratively, this is where we meet. And, as we survey the inner earth and the highest heavens, we say, this is good. In infinity, there is only forever which is no time at all. There are no deadlines. There is no having to get something done and then the next thing in a long line to get to in time and roll off the press. There are no mad rushes where I abide. Produce, says the world yet unaware that hustle and bustle are not necessary and that intent and vision are the precursors to activity. Now forget the supposed past, for what is the point of calling the past to you as if the past were enchanted? Of course, the past is a kind of enchantment. The past wishes to lure us back so that the past can be honored and believed in. My advice is, once the past has told its story, let it rest. What use is the past now except as a bookmark or as an anecdote? The past is a kind of enchantment that you like to recall and mull over. You either want to renew the past, or you want to remove it. Hey, just let go of it. Undo the enchantment. No matter how important to you, leave the past behind. Walk away from it. It will vanish anyway. I will also reiterate that the past is an illusion that you are delirious about. It is a fact that the past you treasure and the past you fault will all vanish. You will leave them behind with all the other possessions you hold dear to you. The past is thin air. You, yourself, will never vanish in that you will indelibly exist indelibly the truth of you will continue to exist, this eternal being essence of you. This tour of earth will be over, and you will be on your way to me directly. Being is always right now. That's it. Your being. Where does being exist when there is no place? There is all the believed in space in the world, yet only being is. Your being. You are being housed temporarily in a form. Yes. You are just a form, a formulation. In the world, you are formative. In truth, you are being and nothing but being. You are not a blank, for being is all. Being cannot be placed, and it cannot be touched. Being is beyond the senses, every single one of them. You are being, and I am being. Beingness in the world cannot be beheld the way a blade of grass may be beheld. All we can really do is be and to be is not to do. Only human beings run around in a mad dash trying to accomplish something that the world echoes in its quarters. The world says that doing is everything, yet doing is the least of all, just something that fills up fictitious time. A kind of churning goes around in life, churning, churning, churning. As we recline here in this field of greenery interspersed with daisies and dandelions, we are, you and I. We be. In this non-time is where life is happening, and from where life comes. Here is where the silence and stillness create the happenings on earth. From the silence. All the frantic perpetual activity is much ado about nothing. Beloved, now, you get up from the green pastures. You get up, brush yourself off, and get back to the pavement and man-made sounds and endeavors where, on the surface, performance is asked for. What did you do today? The world asks, what did you do over the weekend? What you do isn't the making of you. What you are is the making of you. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org